Hello and welcome to an unboxing video for the November 2022 Japan Crate, the Persona 5 Royal Edition. So before we get into this, I'd just like to quickly mention, uh, so at the end of the video I finished filming yesterday, which is the December 2022 Japan Crate, I did end the video by saying that I hadn't uh, received my November 2022 crit. That is purely because I'm an idiot, so I'd just like to apologise about that, ignore all that about not receiving it, and I just don't know where it is, because it's completely my fault. This arrived in an outer sort of cardboard box, and I mistook it for another package I am waiting for delivery from, from Japan. And also around the same time, my December uh, Japan crate arrived. And I thought in the cardboard box was another item, which I'll be doing a video on once it arrives. And I hadn't opened that box because part of the video was going to be me opening the box and seeing what's inside. However, I realised via tracking my parcel from Japan that it was still in Japan. So that meant the cardboard box had something else. And I opened it and lo and behold, this is here. So I'd just like to apologise... I'm, I'm not as concerned about Japan, Japan Crate anymore. I do know that this is in safe hands now. So, um, and I think the reason this was shipped in an outer thing, as we will see in a second, is because this packaging is really special. If you've seen my other Japan Crate videos, you'll know that every crate I get has loads of like shipping labels slapped all over them. They're either on the front or the back. So there's one side I just can't show you guys because it has my address on and stuff. So I think the circumvented having this beautiful cover, like have loads of shipping labels slapped on by putting it in an outward case. So that, that's a cool idea. Anyway, all of this rambling is out of the way. Let's take a look. So obviously this is Persona 5 Royal uh, themed. Royal, I think, came out last year, is it? Or was it the year before? I can't remember. But it is the kind of definitive edition of Persona 5. And we'll say just from the top, I haven't played Persona 5 yet. I do absolutely intend to. The aesthetic and everything is absolutely up my alley. I just haven't found time, basically. But we will take a look. So we have this incredible art. The Japan Crate logo is there. I quite like this kind of subtle as well. That this is something you could display. I mean, yeah, that'll be there, but, you know. Also, this is a very glossy box. Everything else is cardboard, regular cardboard. But this is fantastic. So we've got the characters here. I know that's Morgana, the cat, and Anne. No, wait. Anne, I think that's the female protagonist you can play instead of Joker. Is her name Joker as well? I don't know. And of course, there's the other cast of characters I don't recognise, but still. Got the Japan Crate logo there. That is their social media, if you want to get in touch with them for whatever reason. Got a nice gradient at the back there. And at the back are the protagonists of Royal. I think you get to choose male or female. Didn't they do that, that with Persona 3, I want to say? Uh, anyway, I'm going to go get a knife now so I can slice open the tape and we'll take a look inside. Alright, so as usual, I'm not going to be showing you guys what's in here. I'm just going to grab the cheat sheet and we'll take a look at it to get... Oh, wow. Wow, this is... Oh, okay, I got you. So um, if you remember a few months ago, I think it was July's crate. They had a Hatsune Miku Project Diva Final Mix collaboration and it came with like a poster. So uh, unfortunately this is almost too big for the camera. That is really nice. I'm definitely going to be hanging that somewhere. Um, that is very cool. So unfortunately I can't really show you guys inside because it will give away... Actually, never mind. I can show you this side uh, which this just breaks down what Persona 5 Royal is. Uh, it is obviously a game. Uh, there's a decent chance, if you're watching this video, you might be a Persona fan. It is sort of very big in Japan and in the West now, which is very cool. Uh, right, so I'm just going to delve in and grab an item and pull it out. Ooh, let's start with this big thing. Ooh, we have Posuku. Posuku. Posuku? Okay. Uh, Karito. And I can't read that. Those are interesting uh, shapes. And that's a tanuki, I'm guessing, or a raccoon. I can never tell the difference. There is a very obvious difference between tanukis and raccoons, but I want to keep my YouTube channel, so let's not get into that. Um, posku. Uh, oh, poske. Poske. Sorry, I thought that was ku, but then I saw the actual line. Um, I'm guessing this is like cheese 
savoury stuff. This is Ponske Snack and it's a slightly sweet, slightly spicy and a little bit salty soy sauce snack. There's a lot of S's there actually, so it's Ponske, I, I didn't pick up on the end there. Uh, I apologise. Right, next up, Ooh. it is, aha, oh, okay, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I think we had one of these last month as well, so we got the apple one in the December crate, uh, which I opened yesterday, and so this is a fruit roll-up thing, and this is grape flavour, I'll just show you quickly what it is, but I know exactly what it is. This is grape gum, or at least I think it is, or maybe it's been, so I I can't find it on my cheat sheet. Um, I've looked all over, this is not there. I'm guessing this is the grape gum, and maybe they've either put the wrong picture, or they've added this because they didn't have any grape gum. Either way, that is cool. Um, I haven't actually tried it yet, so I couldn't tell you if it's grape or not, but they are pretty nice. I, I had one years ago, I don't think it was grape is the only thing. Oh, Ginza Rusk. Oh, okay, right. These are really nice. Um, so these are cubes of rusk, basically, which is kind of a... Um, it's hard to describe. They're kind of like crispy rice cubes, I guess, and this is obviously chocolate flavour. Um, yeah, that, that looks really nice. I think they had Ginza Rusk in one of the previous boxes uh, two or three months ago, I think. I think it was chocolate again, but it was a different kind of chocolate, so I'm excited to see what flavour this is. These are Ginza Rusk Biscuits, uh, and yeah, apparently the chocolate is so thick that it doesn't crumble. Can confirm uh, when I had the last things, they didn't crumble uh, at all, not that that was something I expected anyway. Uh, ooh. Oh, is this Umaibo? No, this is Furemiyamu, premium, something premium. Um, umai. Ah, oh, this is Umai stick, I believe. Umai bowl. So it's, I think this is the more like premium version of Umai bowl, uh, which are like savoury corn sticks, basically. Um, I don't really know what flavour that is, though. Is this a sweet Umai bowl, I wonder? Okay, let's see. Ah, this is premium Umai bowl. Uh, so this is a double cheese flavour. I uh, mentions uh, you can... Crunchy while playing with the Phantom Thieves, who I know are the group from Persona 5. Look at me, I am, I'm a next level gamer person. Ooh, what is this? Oh, okay, this is going to be hard -er to read. Uh, ro -ru no, hang on, it's this way. Uh, Rongu, Rong Candy, Chia Chu. Oh! Long Chew, Long Chew. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm guessing this is some kind of strawberry flavour, because it's red. Uh, this is what my brain has been conditioned to see as strawberry or cherry, I'm going to say. This is Long Chew Cola, and I was wrong. There's also a uh, hidden challenge. Can you, can you eat it all before you encounter your first shadow in a palace? Don't know what the encounter rates are like for shadows in palaces. I'm guessing, uh, you know, a uh, palace is like a dungeon. Uh, but I, I don't know how regularly they show up, so... Oh, we have Gaburichu. Gaburichu Mini. Um, okay, I think that's Gaburichu. Um, which sounds like a knockoff Pokemon. I'm going to guess it's cooler flavoured. I don't know what gives me that wild idea. But I am always happy with cola flavourings, as I've mentioned ad nauseum on this video series. Uh, let's see. This is Gaburi Chew Cola Candy. So I was right, I did read that correctly, Gaburi Chew. Um, it also sounds a little bit like Gaburi Chew, as in Goblin uh, goblin Chew. Don't, don't go chewing any goblin. Ho oh, ho! Ah, who is he? He's a marshmallow, I'm guessing. I can't read kanji. Uh, wait, no, hang on. Uh, Kiteimosu. Kite, Kiteimosu. Okay, cool. Or, Iki Iki Onaka. I don't know what either of those means, I'm sorry. He looks like a happy ghost, though, that's like toasting something, maybe? Is he a marshmallow? He feel like hard capsule kind of things, so I'm curious. We have yoghurt candy, uh, which has uh, live bacteria yoghurt. 
uh, in here, which is interesting. Mention seeking Caroline and Justine around Tokyo. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm sure they are nice people though. Next, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, hang on that, sorry, that got caught on something. Ooh, it's sour paper. Uh, and this is candy. Uh, okay. Oh, hang on. <laughs> says cider sorry i was i was like candy wait does that just say candy no it's cider so this is cider sour paper um and just a disclaimer if you are a bit confused cider in japan and apparently america as well i think is very different cider in the uk is alcoholic cider uh, elsewhere is just apple flavored fizzy pop basically we have sour paper candy. It also says here it's Ramune flavour, but I, I swear that says cider. It's, uh, I'm going to double check. Yeah, that's definitely cider. Unless, like, it's interchangeable with Ramune, maybe? Do, do the Japanese sometimes use the term cider to... Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's a weird shape. Okay. Um, that feels like there's, like, a factory error. Um, oh, or the number one, I guess, or seven, a very chunky seven. I know what these are though, they're like chocolate candy things. Uh, they look a little bit like pills, which is weird. Let's see what these are. This is number chocolate, uh, and yes, I I thought I saw these just now, um, in the shape of numbers, but I, I didn't, I don't really dwell when I go through the cheat sheet, I just like briefly look until I can see the image of what it is I pulled, but... Yeah, so there we are, this is the number one. Uh, as are all of you who are watching this, also number ones. In terms of like, your high high rated number ones, and not in the like, passive thing of calling you the number one when you go to the toilet. Um, let's move on quickly from this. Oh, sweet! Yo, okay, so um, these are whistle candies. Uh, they put these in the crate a few months ago, I think. Basically, the idea is you put that between your lips, and because there's, like, layers of this, the air gets trapped between, and it be makes a high-pitched whistle sound. Uh, and these are really nice, actually. Well, the ones I had, they were a different flavour. I can't remember what flavour they were. They had, like, a red background. And this is a little toy. Um, and last time, I got, like, a cool kaiju kind of dude i mean he's like one color you know one molded plastic kind of thing we're so like nostalgic i i'm so glad they've put another one in because uh man i just love sort of really cheap japanese like 100 yen toys or whatever there's just something charming about them uh right let me check what flavor this is this is feramune in the future and it's cola flavored absolute win um I think the last ones I had was Ramune flavoured, which is very nice, but again, I'm a big lover of cola. Uh, I didn't mention the toy, but that is definitely like a little toy. I'll be doing this in the Japanese snack reviews thing, so stay tuned for that. Uh, next up, ooh, next up we have, I'm guessing this is the DIY kit. This is Choco, oh, Kina, Kira. Kinako Kira? Hmm. I swear that says Choco. Chocolate? Is this chocolate DIY? If so, this is the first chocolate DIY kit I think I've ever seen. I mean, I don't doubt they exist, but let's see what this is. This is chocolate Kinako Mochi, uh, which apparently features in the game. So let me guys, let me know um, if you guys have played Persona 5 in the comments. Does chocolate mochi show up in the game? It says something about restoring your HP, so I mean, that does make sense, to be fair. Alright, so, on to the next snack. Ooh. Grab this, if you've been... <gasps> Yo, let's go! <laughs> okay, it's... <gasps> Wait, yes, okay. This is cheddar cheese. So, uh, they included this, this in the August crate, or maybe September, I can't remember. This is, hands down, my favourite cheese-flavoured crisp slash potato chip or whatever you want to call it. Aerial are incredible. Um, I'll look it up in a second on the thing, but I can tell you more about it. It's got like four layers. They are super, super crunchy. Um, they're kind of like pillows, basically. Um, and God, the, the flavour is just phenomenal. The cheddar cheese flavour is incredible. They had the sour cream and onion as well, which they put in 
one of the previous crates. That was nice. The cheese one, hands down, is my favourite cheese potato chip. Someone from Japan Crate is watching these videos. Kudos to you. Thank you. Uh, probably not. I think it's just probably coincidence. But these are incredible. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you what the cheat sheet says. This is Aerial Cheese Cone Puff. And it mentions going to the aquarium in Shinagawa with your confidants. I don't... Again, I, I, don't, I don't get the reference, but... I'm sure that's cool for the fact. Yay! Let's go! We got some more Taiyaki. So, um, December's Crate also comes the Taiyaki, but I think it's a different flavour. Oh, yeah, because that was lemon tea, and this is Nai. Na? Nai. Tai. Oh, sorry. Puku Puku Tai and Choco. Ah, so this is chocolate. Puku Puku Tai. Uh, so, that is a brand of Taiyaki, I think. As I said in my previous video, these are like airy biscuity things, the chocolate center. I'll just double check though. This is Puku Puku Tai, and it is indeed a chocolate mousse flavor. And it mentions going to Kichi Joji. Uh, again, I'm probably guessing it's an area in Persona. I know they do like having sort of Japanese areas to explode, explode, explore, and whatnot. Uh, ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, I think I remember getting one of these. Is this like a gummy Ramune bottle, right? I think I had one uh, a while ago. Yeah, the gummy. This is gummy. Uh, and this says Ramune. There we are. Toru. Uh, Potoru. Por, oh, Ramune bottle. Potoru. Right, cool. This is a gummy Ramune bottle. This is Ramune bottle gummy. Uh, and yeah, it's sort of in the shape of a traditional Ramune bottle. I do like me some Ramune. Right, there are a few things left that are like very curiously shaped. So I'm kind of feeling around for the food related items. So I think there might be some special things in there. Ooh, lemon. Lemon Kit Kat. Okay, lemon. Yeah, it's definitely lemon. Oh. Salt lemon. Right, that, that's the kanji for salt, I'm guessing, then. Salt lemon. Interesting. Um, that is also cheesy. You have tequila, I do believe. Uh, salt and lemon. Right, let's check this out. This is salty lemon flavoured Kit Kats in toy bag. And, uh, yeah, something to enjoy whilst fusing for new um, personas. Which I'm aware is something you can do in the game. I did play... Um, Ah, I played the mobile game. Uh, wait, no, that was the Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, I'm not saying they're the same thing. Okay, uh, we've got like two things here, and it's very curious. What I'm going to do, though, is first pull out the drink. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's one of the... Ooh. What is this? Jikuku Koto Koto. Uh, I... So I think this is probably the same as before, um, and the, so I think there was, was it like pumpkin or something in the October Japan crate? And this is basically, um, it's kind of soup, basically, that you can heat up and eat like a soup. I don't know if it's like tomato or cherry, maybe? It looks like tomatoes. Is this tomato soup? I was half right, it is tomato and onion soup, and is perfect for drinking during a rainy day at Café Leblanc. Named, of course, after Matt Leblanc, who played Joey in Friends. I, <laughs> I don't think it is, obviously. Uh, right, okay, I, I can feel two interesting things here. So, uh, first off... Oh, okay, actually, actually this is a... Um, this is food. I thought this was like a weird plasticky thing. Uh, we have horn, uh, lemon fromage. Oh, fromage, um, fromage, lemon fromage, lemon fromage. Okay, let's see what this is. This is horn lemon fromage. Uh, so this is savory lemon and cheese filling. I'm gonna have one of these at the end of the video. This is gonna be like the snack of the video, I think, because. I'm curious now. Lemon and cheese. Fair enough. Uh, right, so I'm just going to feel a... Oh, hang on. There is something extra. It is gum. Uh, this looks like grape gum. Uh, yeah. 
Very nice. Okay, let's see what this is. This is indeed grape gum. Very nice. Uh, right, okay, now we shall move on to what I'm guessing is the last item. God, this feels like there's been a lot of items. All right, is everybody ready? Because it feels a little bit heavy. It is. Ooh! Oh, it's a poker chip! Okay, hey! And it's... I don't know who that is, but uh, it's not Joker. That is really cool! So that's like... Uh, a, it's, a, it's a hard plastic poker chip, basically. That is super cool, actually. That's like... Uh, Persona 5 Royale? Royal? I, I want to keep wanting to say Royale, but it's not, obviously. That is really cool. I, I feel like I've seen pictures of him before. He's got like a fox mask thing on. Ah, this is really well made as well. This is like, as I say, quite thick plastic and stuff. Right, I'm going to look if it says stuff in the booklet. So, this is the uh, Persona 5 Royal Poker Chips. And these are custom made for Japan Crate. Because I was kind of thinking, it's like, oh, maybe these are kind of um, promo items or something that, like, the special edition came with. But these are really cool. So the six designs, obviously I got the bottom middle there. Um, I recognise three of these characters. And I guess the top right is female MC. But yeah, that, that is really cool. That is very nice. Uh, and also, it's got quite a weight to it. I'm going to take a quick look inside. Okay, so that is the inside of the box. It's kind of got all the star motif forever. That's really cool. Right, I'm going to go arrange everything into this box now, and then we'll do a wrap-up. BRB. Alright, so I've arranged everything in a slightly organised fashion. So, I've got to say, this crate was pretty darn cool. Now, before I get into the wrap-up, I am going to have one of these cheese and lemon fromage uh, stick things, because I am just think oh, it opens like that, oh, okay, cool, so they are kind of sticks, so let's open it up, I do like the, uh, the fancy holder of them as well, looks a little bit like sort of a cigarette box, I guess, uh, right, Let ooh, ooh, oh, these are cool, okay, like chocolate on the ends, obviously, and biscuit in the middle. Right, cool. I'm gonna go take a bite, I guess. That was interesting. Um, not gonna say I am absolutely mad on them, but that is is it's very. And I'm struggling to kind of sum up exactly what it's like. So you definitely have like the chocolate, obviously, and the wafer. There is the like hit of lemon. The lemon is quite strong. I wouldn't say I can pick up much on the cheese. Um, there is a little bit of maybe a sort of savoury taste to it that stops it from being overly sweet or overly bitter. But I wouldn't say I'm picking up on the cheese, really. It does feel like a sort of lemon mousse in a wafer with chocolate on the tips. However, these are quite interesting. I feel like they're one of those biscuits that if you ate like two or three of, you'd get used to the flavour and quite appreciate. That was interesting though, that is a weird combo. Um, I'm talking about weird combos, I, I guess this was kind of a weird combo, but not really. Um, yeah, everything flowed really well. So we've got some fan favourites, we've got sour paper, we've got an umaibo, which I'm very much looking forward to. Got the, um, the soup is going to be quite interesting, I'm always up for a soup. I know tomato and uh, garlic, is it garlic, onion, I can't remember. It's fairly standard, but I am still nonetheless looking forward to it. Big props to the aerial. Um, already this is an absolute win because I love I love the, the cheddar cheese aerial chips. They are just the best. Um, and yeah, we got quite a few interesting things. So most of these, or a lot of these, are going to feature in my Japanese snack reviews videos coming up. Um, I say videos because we've got... November and December's crate back to back now. So I'm going to be like combining them basically. Um, so stay tuned, there'll be at least two episodes coming out with, you know, five to ten snacks in each one, depends how I feel like or whatever. But I am very excited to try a lot of these. The Kit Kat's going to be uh, salt lemon. I don't think I've had salt lemon. I had salt lemon something, but I don't think it was the Kit Kat. 
So that's going to be quite interesting. Um, it was white chocolate and salt, I believe, was the thing from June or July. I can't remember, but that was pretty cool. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Rusks are really cool. The DIY kit. Chocolate mochi. I'm up for trying to make mochi and probably failing. But anyway, stay tuned for all of that. I will say, uh, despite, you know, there was a month's delay or whatever, I can totally see why, though. Uh, it was because of these. These are high quality, like, poker chips. Um, not that I've played poker much or whatever, but you can definitely tell these are like... These aren't just some kind of quickly 3D printed kind of things. They've got a bit of a sheen to them and everything. These are really cool. Um, especially if you're a big Persona fan, I imagine this would be even more hype. I, I really like them myself. I'll definitely be keeping this on like a shelf as a display piece or whatever. But yeah, right, well, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the Japanese snack review episodes. And let me know in the comments if you want to see any of these specifically reviewed, because I will make sure to specifically review any snacks you guys request that have been in this box, obviously. Um, so, that about wraps up. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave you a playlist to my other Japan Crate videos in case you've missed any. And until next time, goodbye!